All right, Eric with Rusty Revivals here. Um, today we're working on a 2005 Sterling. This is our ministry vehicle. We use it to haul all of our tools to and from the job site. Um, as you can see, we've done a little bit of modification. This is basically an expediter truck. And uh, we put a door in the side so we can get in and out for the tools. But what we're doing today is working on some grills. We repainted the truck just to give it a little bit of a freshening up. And what we found is that the grills in this thing are chrome. And they're chrome over the top of plastic. And many of you have probably had the same type of problem. You can see right here, this plastic, it gets all funky. Uh, it's basically plastic with like a chrome cellophane over it. And I tried several different things. I tried grinding it, which didn't work. I tried sandblasting it, which didn't work. And I tried chemicals, uh, strippers, and none of that stuff seemed to work. So what I ended up doing is just saying, okay, I've got a good template. And what I did is I've begun making new ones. The problem with these Sterlings is they, they are out of business now. And so parts are no longer really available. I went on the internet and did a search and everything that I saw had the same kind of problems that mine did. So I started to build my own. And uh, you'll notice there's a crown to it. It's not flat like it would appear to be. And then there's also a crown this way. And you know, it all has to line up with the headlight bezels and make it uh, one smooth transition. But I guess how we are making this, you can see this is the bigger grill, this is the upper one. And you can see there's a lot of curvature going on. And there's guys on the internet that have a lot better videos of how to use an English wheel, but that's how I'm making this piece. I just roll it on that English wheel, and maybe I'll get a little bit of a shot here at some point, but you can see this just basically fits, you know, lines up. I'm making it using the old piece as a template, and then I'll put that same design in the grill with these pieces of angle iron. And it made a pretty nice little design. I just ground it to a point, ground the piece of angle iron. It's nothing more than a piece of angle iron. I ground it to a point and then welded it from the backside so there's really no welds showing or anything like that. Water really can't sit in there because it's all welded tight. So um, we'll keep you posted and see how it comes out. So here we are, we've got uh, the upper grill pretty well fabbed to start with as far as the bends go. I tried to make it all in one, <laughs> uh, but there was no way that I was going to get those two ends to come out in the right place exactly. I'm not that good at it. So <laughs> what I did is I cut it and now I'm putting in the pieces in the center. have the grill that looks somewhat like that as far as the shape goes. We've got her pretty well manufactured. Welded them in from the, those uh, rods there and from the back side. It's kind of tricky uh, getting the contours all set in the gaps because everything is round and angled and nothing is straight. So, there we are. Now I just gotta putty it and fill in all the grind marks and smooth it all out, make it look pretty. Well, here's the uh, panels. Started to putty them, smooth them out a little bit. 
get some filler set on the panels there. I'm waiting for it to harden up. Just put some more another coat on. Upper. See it's starting to take shape. So just keep on smoothing them out. Well, there it is. Finished product. It doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't look as though uh, anything has changed from start to finish. All in all, that's about 80 hours of work. So, English wheel, welder, grinders, paint guns, lots of work. Eric from Rusty Revivals. Remember, Christ died for you. He loves you. All you have to do is ask him to save you. And you can spend an eternity in heaven with him. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.